is a scratch. A scratch, defined by the executioners, is a sound of definite pitch. It is a musical note achieved with the use of a turntable. How does one scratch? Simply by using your fingertips and gently applying pressure to a piece of vinyl as it rotates on the turntable platter. The objective here is to stop the record. For those familiar with this form of musical expression, tell me, when was the first time you heard a scratch? The first time I heard a scratch was actually hearing Grandmaster Flash do some little <clears throat> which was kind of primitive at that at, at what we know now, but at that time it was magic. It was like Grandmaster Flash throwing this record in. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see. You see, one for the trouble, two for the time. Come on, girls, let's rock that. Five, five, Betty told me every side. DJ spinning, I said, my, my. Flashes fast, flashes fast, flashes fast. Flashes cool, Francois, c'est pas, flash ain't no do. You see, one for the trouble, two for the time. Come on, girls, let's rock that. The first piece of hip-hop music I ever owned was The Adventures of Grandmaster Flash on the Wheels of Steel. I didn't own the actual single. I didn't even own the vinyl. I owned 
a Various Artists cassette tape that you see on the screen in front of you. It was called Various Street Beats, and it was put out by Sugar Hill uh, Records. It was actually probably the most perfect starter kit that I could ever get for hip-hop music. I bought it in 1984. It was a white tape with blue writing, and I recreated it as good as I could in the picture uh, in front of you. White Lines Don't Do It, Apache, Rapper's Delight. It had Breakdance and Electric Boogie, uh, which was uh, one of the main reasons, music like that was one of the main reasons I got it. I needed something to break dance to. And if you look at the credits for The Adventures of Grandmaster Flash on the Wheels of Steel, it is the first record ever to have records on a record. Something that's very common in hip-hop now, but this was the first time it ever had to be done. And one of the songs that it had to credit is tonight's classic rock case study.
was a man from Mars who beat up balls where the TV's on. Now he's gone back up to space where he would have a hassle with the human race. Sang hip hop and don't stop, just blast off. Sure shot, cause the man from Mars stopped eating cars and eating bars and now he only eats guitars. Yeah! <laughs> So there you have it. In a nutshell, Deborah Harry, a.k.a. Blondie, is the first female MC for sure. Also the first white MC. Also the first MC to ever say Sure Shot or uh, uh, You Don't Stop Punk Rock, that's for sure. And the reason that Grandmaster Flash had to sample her record was there weren't a lot of records around that had his name on it at that time because there weren't a lot of rap records. Yes, Rapper's Delight preceded this record by a year. But only a year. That means that Blondie didn't have too much to compare rap to. Uh, she just did it from what she saw in the clubs and the parties and the places that she went to with her friends in New York City around this time. So she's the first rapper on a hit number one record because Rapper's Delight was not a number one record. So she's basically the first female MC and definitely the first white female MC. And that's this week's classic rock case study. So now let's super rock with super not.
bust a new school rap game. Try to trip it like Coltrane. Insane. Yes, no, no, but for me, I'm a different kind. We're brothers on the same line, I'm blind. All in the middle way, not surrendering. I don't rock for the sake of rhythm. Yo, proclaiming I'm a smuggler. To say I never heard of you. I rap burglar. False media. We don't get it, do we? It's face with a beat. We don't get it, like do we? Yo, what's up? We don't do this. Jump, yo. You gotta be new school, cause this is the first time you checking us out. A lot of you motherfuckers are new school. Old school in the house. Hey, hey, I go, old school in the house. All right, oh, I, I, turntable. Why? For those that don't know, why? turntable, yeah. not a CD, why? turntable. Yeah. Where you buy a and you take the record and put it on the... And you take the... Let me get some cheese. And drop it on the... And you get sounds like... Let me get the other one. Yeah. Play, please. Hold Quiet, on, Chuck, please. Man. Hold on, Chuck. I just wanted to get my hat. Can I shit. put the goddamn needle on the record? Put the needle on the record, Flame. You always want to be the big cheese. That's right. And if you smell anything in here, stink, it's me, because I'm the shit. All right? Oh, but anyway, come on, Chuck, I'm with you, B. Put the needle <laughs> on the record. One. What? Two. L.A. One. House of Blues. Two. Three. Public Enemy. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen, listen to this, listen to this. For all you MCs in a crew, for all you MCs in a crew, for all you MCs in a crew, this is what we want y'all to do. Sure, 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 sure. So you want to be an MC, huh? Shoot, baby, baby, shoot, baby, baby, shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, we got something for you. Shoot, baby, baby, shoot, baby, shoot, baby, baby, shoot, 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 shoot. Step back, boy, you ain't down. Shoot, baby, baby, shoot, shoot, baby, baby, shoot, shoot. You know, it's not on JK's Yes! The rhythm, the rebel. When I'm a pause, I'm lower my level. The hard rubber. We ain't never been on man. You want to style it? You know it's time to go deep. The enemy told you to hear it. They break my music and they tell it. You know it's time to go deep. The enemy told you to hear it. They break my music and it's time to play my lyrics. Some say no to the album, the show. But much the sound, 11 years ago. Boy. I guess you know, you got something so radical. That was a radical, yes, it makes it critical. Boy. The only party, the party, stupid party, and true. Had the power on the hour for the revenue, you. Yo, just, I like that feeling. Oh, you yeah. got to slow down, man, you losing. Radio, suckers never play me on the mix. They just okay me now, know they grow. Run the clock in my soul, there's no stake in the ticket. Everything, man, a brother, oh, hard. Yeah. I call it hard, recording and audit, support it, yeah, adjust them all, loud and proud, drink it live, this pause for free, who for you, but you got the skin, he's flavor, boy, a rebel, and it's all mine, don't forget it, support all my rhymes, cause my troops got a line, a sucker, who claim my true crime, they're on my time, LA, uh, hey, what's up, if you were thinking, so why we gonna get this about myself, get a line up, terminate it, hey, go, 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 terminate it, go,
Oh, you didn't hear? No. You weren't here yesterday? No. <laughs> oh, man. This is a doozy. Well, yesterday, Doug had, like, the shittiest day ever. I mean, first of all, he was, like, an hour and a half late because some truck full of chickens or something jackknifed in front of him on the freeway. I mean, he actually had chicken shit on him. The boss was like, where the hell have you been? Doug's like, I'm on the 215 and some truck full of chickens crashed in front of me. He was like, I couldn't just drive through with the chickens. And we were all like, oh, God, Doug. Okay, so then you know how we weren't supposed to hit the first email? We all had that memo, right? Well, of course, Doug does, and he gets the virus, right? And Doug was like, I just, I, 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 I. So then he goes into the break room and gets one of those wiener schnitzel chili dogs that we had yesterday. So he gets chili all over his shirt, right? Looks like he had an accident and wiped his ass with his shirt. So then he actually puts his hand on the coffee machine. Someone had just grabbed the pot off, so he puts his hand smack on the on the plate and burns the shit out of his hand. Doug's like, oh, shit. And so he saw that we were throwing darts at his employee of the month picture from last year. And he was like, hey, that's hey, that's not cool, man. I'm, I'm, hey. So finally by lunch, he has had it, right? And he decides that he's going to go on his lunch break and get a hooker and let off some steam. He's like, I'm going to go on my lunch break and get a hooker and let off some steam. So he goes to the Wawa West parking lot on his lunch break. It's like, the middle of the day, and he's like, yeah, there's a lot of hookers here. So there's this girl down there named Delilah, the one Jeff was talking about. She's really attractive, right? But she has OCD. And so she's walking around, and she sees him, and she's like, oh, boy. So he's like, hey, get over here. So she goes over and gets in the car, and they kind of, like, haggle about price for a while. You know, like, what, what, how much is this? How does this go down? The thing is, is this girl is so OCD that she sprays every John with breath spray. So Doug's like, what, what are you reaching for there? What are you doing? She's like, just hold on a second. And she's, so she's confused, and it feels like the breath spray. So she grabs the wrong thing. She accidentally grabs her mace. So she goes, and sprays it, and he's like, ah! And she's shocked, because it's truly an accident. She's not trying to hurt him. She's like, what is your problem? So she gets mad, and she grabs his wallet and storms out of the car. And he's like, what is that? He is just going from, like, zero to 150. He's like, what? He's in so much pain. He grabs this red Powerade he's got in the car, dumps it in his lap. He's got to drive back to work now. So he beelines it to the bathroom. He's like, ah, my nuts. And he just starts feverishly washing his balls in the sink. And then Gene walks in. This time, stay put. Yes, my lord, and thanks. 